John. Hey, Tom. Just a second to get situated here. Make sure everything's on. Testing, testing. Well, it's a Grays Harbor banjo band tradition to do a railroad song, a train song, at, on every performance during the year. And so this next one is called Wabash Cannonball. And it was first documented appearance of this song was actually in 1882. Um, a rewritten version of the song was done by William Kent, and that appeared in 1904. The Carter family made the first recording of the song in 1932. Roy Acuff produced another popular version of the song in 1936. This song is part of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll, believe it or not. It's the oldest one in that list. Anyway, for your listening pleasure, we have Wabash Cannonball featuring Richard Woolsey on the five-string banjo and Will back there on the accordion. <laughs> Oh, and also Mr. Mr. P here, Pirate P. <laughs> All aboard! Well, now that our train has arrived, 